Hi folks, I just wanted to walk through this one style of uh, adapter that we had made for this project because it's an example of a, I think a pretty smart way to make an adapter. Here we're trying to fit a uh, PMAC or BLDC motor. It's a Motenergy closed case uh, motor and we're trying to fit it to this Chinese uh, trike transaxle that has a gear reduction, single stage fixed ratio gear reduction and differential. So this will provide the step down in speed. I think this one is geared eight to one, but you can kind of order them more or less as you, as you need. And then it's got a couple little stub axles that come out of the uh, differential. And in this case, they will run half shafts out to chain reduction final drives at each wheel. But the challenge is obviously adapting bolt patterns and uh, shaft styles. This is a 7 8 inch with the keyway, whereas this thing is some kind of metric involute spline. I can't even remember. Um, but we, we got the drawings and specs for this involute spline from the gearbox vendor. And uh, then we had a local machine shop cut and machine these adapter plates out of uh, aluminum. If you look at the edge, the, the outer doesn't even need to be finished. That's either water jet or laser cut. And uh, it's done in two pieces just to simplify things. The interface here, I think only one of them is, only one of them has that inner dimension and it's machined to fit this donut which then aligns it with this shoulder on the drive axle, the uh, input side of the transaxle. And there are a couple of dowel pins to align the two halves of the uh, adapter plate. And part of the benefit of doing the adapter plate in two halves is that you can machine, you can bore the, the ID of one plate to fit the nose of the motor and bore the ID of the other plate to either fit, in this case, uh, a sh what would you call that, a sleeve that's gonna line up with the, the ID or if there was a nose on your other component. So you can match up two and then these are uh, cap screws that are mounting the motor and you don't even have to counter bore them, you just bore them larger in one plate, smaller in the other. When you clamp the plates together and line them up, you end up with the uh, counterboard hole consistent and strong. So that's that and then the coupler shaft has to be machined and this is a 7 8 with a 3 16 keyway on one side and then I guess broached to that? I don't know. I don't know how they make inside involute shafts like that. But this is certainly not something that I could make, and uh, although I could probably kludge together something to join the two, I wouldn't have anywhere near the confidence that it's gonna line up. And uh, in our application, we didn't even know the final orientation of the gearbox, so it mounts, the motor is fixed in one of four positions with the four bolts, and then the gearbox, we're gonna be able to swing it a bit and slide the mounting in that clamp until we get perfect drive line alignment across here. So hopefully it's useful to someone. One idea of how to match up a motor and a gearbox or a motor and a transmission that were never intended to go together. All right, thanks for watching.